Hey guys, this video here is pretty much two YouTube videos in one to save us all time. The first one's about the $500 car wash. The second one is about a very stinky, terrible, awful situation at the car washes that we currently own. And for better or worse, I'm going to have to post some of this on Discord because you guys like seeing that stuff. Anyway, the first part of this video starts just about a week ago on our way to a little bit north of Columbus, Ohio, passing by trailers on the road. We arrived at a car wash that we essentially had the option of purchasing for a princely sum of three to five thousand dollars. Yes, three to five thousand dollars to buy a car wash. Now, of course, there was a bit of a catch. And no, I'm not talking about the fact the location's kind of run down and there's a lot of deferred maintenance and help that this place needs. And while we're at it, could you do me a huge favor and hit the like button and consider subscribing and turning on your notifications since it helps me grow my channel. Anyway, this deal was very, very interesting. Um, it was a three or four bay, depending on how you wanted to look at it, uh, car wash in northern Ohio. Uh, they have a Rainmaker Cobra here. It's the same company that made our Rainmaker uh, Classic, but it's just a little bit nicer. And a lot of the equipment in this location is near identical to both of the car washes that we have down south of Columbus. And they have dryers, which is really cool. We've been wanting dryers on our second location, so that's uh, a big feature that we were looking at this location uh, because their dryer setups really really nice it's relatively new even though they have equipment that's very similar to ours it's um, a lot of the same brands which is nice because we're relatively familiar with how it works now for five thousand dollars there has to be a pretty major downside and that downside here is the fact that this location does not come with the land or the building we have the rights to take over and get all the equipment in the facility, like this changer that I was super excited about taking to my laundromat. Anyway, we can get all of the equipment out of this car wash, build a third location, but we have to supply the land and the building. And typically, those are the smaller costs. Usually, your equipment is the biggest expense. Now, what's so amazing and significant here is there is equipment that we just paid over $14,000 for when we did a recent uh, refurbish of our second car wash location. So even though the building is dilapidated and the land isn't too great, the equipment here could have represented a huge value for us to either rebuild our current locations or just get a cheap $25,000, maybe $35,000 car wash somewhere that we currently don't have a location. But like these gigantic water storage tanks on the screen, we couldn't use everything at this location. But it was really nice that even the logic control boards were compatible with our second car wash location, and this equipment was much newer than what we have. We could strip out almost everything except like an air compressor and um, some of these electronic control panels. The self-serve bays all had very recent cat pumps to them. They're about $1,000 a piece, so we would have gone home with four of those pumps and electric motors. They had their control boards, um, all sorts of computers, chemicals, pumps, pretty much everything you could think of under the sun when it comes to building a new car wash, we could have got for between three and $5,000 and essentially salvage rights for our car wash. This Hamilton pay station sells new for $17,000. I think they wanted to keep like two or three signs from when it was a car wash or currently a car wash, but we could have gone home with the rest of it. Even this cool vending machine here, they sell for about $2,500 we could have just pulled out. But the problem is here, we would have to put it in storage since we don't have a location that would make sense to put any of this equipment in here. We wouldn't have to deal with the trash. We wouldn't have to deal with anything here. And there was just no reason for us to rent this location so far away. I at one point tried to flip the equipment or give it to a friend of mine that I know that's up here trying to build his own car wash, but he, although he has a car wash location in mind that's entirely stripped out with equipment, he just wasn't able to get the deal done, which is disappointing because even in the used state of all this equipment, it's still worth probably 50,000, maybe 75,000 to somebody that currently operates a car wash or desires to start one in the near future. There's a lot of equipment we found in this location that was only two, three, four years old and would have sold for several orders of magnitude higher than we would have been paying for it at just between three and $5,000 to strip out the location. 
Now, I have no clue who Ronnie is, but I imagine they would not have helped us clean out this place and remove equipment. So that's that's in a nutshell what happened with this deal, and I'd like to get your feedback. Did we make a right decision in not spending two, three, four weeks cleaning out this location, stripping out tens of thousands of dollars worth of equipment, paying to have it stored, and then potentially using it in the future for a third car wash? We really kind of regret not being able to do it. Um, it was such a big value of equipment. We could have taken some of the parts and utilized them in our current locations. I don't know if it was a dumb move or a smart move, but uh, it's just a choice we made and we find these deals pretty often so that's that now on to the smelly situation neither one of these was worth a full youtube video anyway it's absolutely nasty <laughs> it's awful it was going to be a really terrible video i mean well this is going to be a really terrible video yes that's muck every kind of filth that you could think that gets washed out of a car gets washed out of a car at some point our car wash um, is doing great we've got all all the new automatic equipment dialed in it's working just as we so desired and we're starting to make really good money and we've had to do some major upgrades at our other location dealing with getting the water cleaned these are gigantic um, water softener tanks that you saw in the five thousand dollar location they were starting to leak and cause all sorts of problems all over the car wash now by chance have you ever been at a car wash and it just kind of smells funny it's just there's something going on that's wrong well it's probably because you're dealing with one of these this is a pit every car wash has them it's where all of the dirt and the muck and the trash flow from your car or your truck or your trailer under the ground into a storage pit and depending on a lot of factors, you have to have them cleaned out on a regular basis. And interesting, it's just like cleaning a sewage tank. Now, I'm not one to do this kind of uh, work myself, so we hired an outside company with really nice 5,000 PSI pressure washers to come and do a lot of the heavy lifting for us in this situation. And what I mean by heavy lifting is this was nasty, terrible, awful. I've had to deal with septic tanks on properties before, and this was every bit as bad as dealing with a septic tank. It was rather than having one home septic tank, we had to have a total of eight commercial tanks serviced and cleaned and gone through so that they won't smell so bad and we won't have a backup which causes even worse problems. After a few months of looking we finally found this company here from Canal Winchester and they did all of the servicing for about $2,500 for two separate locations, which is a pretty cool deal. They were a great group of guys, and uh, I felt like $2,500 was a pretty good deal. But man, $2,500 for approximately six hours of work ain't too bad. Now, while we were watching them, we had to deal with some phantom problems like this one. This bay is not on. No one has put money in the machine, yet there's water coming out of the spray nozzle. A phantom leak. Oh boy. After this, we went to lunch. Then we got a really wonderful call from the crew that had gone to the second location. A customer, we assume, had come and used our car wash as a bathroom, as if this job was not dirty enough. But they were nice, and they power washed our car wash down, um, put the, the offender down into the septic pit, and continued to pump out all the equipment. Um, we tried to find who our phantom uh, bathroom user was without success. I'm sure if I searched enough, I could throw him on social media and uh, make his life really interesting, but that seems like a lot of work. So here we are. Um, our pits are clean. We've paid the money. Everything's working as it should. The automatic at our new car wash machine, it's working well. Everything on the car wash is working as it's supposed to, even if we include the drama of somebody coming in using our car wash as a bathroom. And with the new water filtration system, the reverse osmosis system, and the new water softeners, the soap quality is getting really good at our second location. We're now on the hunt to try and figure out how to pay for a brand new car wash here. We know that if we get new equipment like we do at the other location, we'll make a ton of money, but it's going to be another quarter of a million dollar investment, which represents potentially more debt and more risk, but also more reward. But as time goes on, our sales are going up at the location with the new equipment, and we're feeling pretty comfortable about the fact that we spent so much money on the machine. Yes, insurance paid for some of the repairs here, but certainly it wasn't enough to avoid getting a gigantic loan for the new car wash equipment. 
So what do you guys think about us turning down this really great deal on equipment? Also, like the video for me if you already haven't. I would appreciate it. Like most good things in life, running a car wash is like a lot of businesses. There isn't a lot of reward that doesn't come with some level of risk. So every decision we make here at the car wash is kind of plays into the story of whether we're going to be ultimately successful or not. So thanks for watching and thank you to everybody who subscribed to this point because I hit a million subscribers. And because of that, I've got some really cool stuff planned in the near future.